Good morning, everyone. This is His Word on. All right, before we get into this, I'm still looking at sounds. Um, Audio Jungle is one source, but they're kind of expensive, so, but I'm still looking, but anyways, we left off with Genesis 39, and as a recap, Joseph was brought down to Potiphar, which, you know, in Egypt, he was an officer of Pharaoh, captain of his guard, and then his, the master's wife tried to, or wanted to, lay with Joseph and then he didn't want to do it dishonor the master and God and she didn't like that too much and said some lies about him said they lay like he was trying to mock her and left his garment and then Potiphar threw him in prison and that's where we left off on or gonna Start with Genesis 40. And it came to pass after these things that the butler of the king of Egypt and his baker had offended their lord, the king of Egypt. And Pharaoh was wroth against two of his officers, against the chief of the butlers, and against the chief of the bakers. And he put them in a ward in the house of the captain of the guard into the prison, in place where Joseph was bound. And the captain of the guard charged Joseph with them, and served them. And they continued in a season in a ward. And they dreamed a dream, both of them, each man his dream in one night, each man according to the interpretation of his dream, the butler and the baker of the king of Egypt, which were bound in prison. And Joseph came in unto them in the morning, and looked upon them, and behold, they were sad. And he asked Pharaoh's officers that were with him in the ward of his lord's house, saying, Wherefore look ye so sadly today? And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there was no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. And the chief butler told his dream to Joseph, and said to him, in my dream, behold, a vine was before me, and in the vine were three branches, and it was as though it budded, and her blossoms shot forth, and the clusters thereof brought forth ripe grapes. And Pharaoh's cup was in my hand, and I took the grapes, and pressed them into Pharaoh's cup, and I gave a, a cup unto Pharaoh's hand. And Joseph said unto him, this is the interpretation of it. The three branches are three days. Yet within three days shall Pharaoh lift up thine head, and restore thee unto thy place. And thou shalt deliver Pharaoh's cup into his hand, after the former manner, when thou wast his butler. But think on me, when it shall be well with thee, and shew kindness. I pray thee unto me, and make a mention of me unto Pharaoh, and bring me out of this house. For indeed I was stolen away out of the land of the Hebrews. And here also have I done nothing that should be put into the dungeon. When the chief baker saw that the interpretation was good, he said unto Joseph, I also was in my dream. And behold, I had three white baskets on my head. And in the uppermost basket there was all manner of bakements, baked meats for Pharaoh. And the birds eat them out of the basket upon my head. And Joseph answered and said, This is the interpretation thereof. The three baskets are three days. Yet within the three days shall Pharaoh lift up thy head from off thee, and shall hang thee on a tree. And the birds shall eat thy flesh from off thee. And it came to pass that the third day, which was Pharaoh's birthday, that he had made a feast unto all his servants, and he lifted up the head of the chief butler, and the chief baker among his servants. And he restored the chief butler into his butlership again, 
and he gave the cup into Pharaoh's hand. But he hanged the chief baker, as Joseph had interpreted to them. Yet did not the chief butler remember Joseph, but forgot him. Yeah. And that is the end of Genesis 40. So as a summary here, we have the butler and the baker who did something wrong to the king of Egypt, to Pharaoh. They were put into jail. And in that jail, they, or they were put where Joseph was. They had a dream, both of them did. Joseph interpreted those dreams, which were three days. Basically, the dreams were God was going to restore the butler. And the other dream with the baker was he was going to hang. And he hanged. The chief butler was supposed to remember Joseph, but he forgot him, right? Anyways, hope you guys were edified. And you guys have a wonderful day.